hello to you. Here's uh, the February the 20th blog. Two months ago I turned 38. Where the hell has the time gone? Oh, less than a month until I go to Melbourne and I've been writing an email um, beseeching these nice people who have a really minty pad just off Ligon Street in um, Melbourne that if I could sublet their, their flatmate's room. Oh, the wine and the coffee and the culture of Ligon Street. Oh, please, I hope they get back to me. Um, send me your good vibes. Or, alternately, if you know someone in Melbourne who needs a flatmate for like, five or six weeks, by all means, send them uh, my way. I can help. Yesterday, I had a real issue with Richard Till and the whole Women's Institute thing. I just don't think sausage grenades are very Women's institute even though it came out of their cookbook. It's just like, what lady little pellets of regret, man? To me, as a woman who's a fan of the Women's Institute, I think scones and pikelets, don't you? Yeah. And you know, I love a good scone, and I make a good scone to be, you know, I'm just going to blow smoke up my own ass there, I really do. You want to know what makes a good scone? Because we've all had a bad scone, right? The scone you look at and you go, oh, that's a good scone. And then you eat it and it leaves that, you know, that. And all day your teeth are filmy and, it, and you can't figure out where that, that came from, the scone. Okay? Yeah. Now, if you really want to make a good scone, the secret is to not overtouch the flour. People are always getting their hands in the action so much. Ooh, saucy. It makes me feel it. I just lost just there for a minute. Anyway. If you really want to make a good scone, don't touch the flour too much. Get your butter, make sure it's out of the fridge, and measure it, and then grate it in. That means half the the rubbing job is already done for you. You don't have to rub so hard to get the same result. Who doesn't like that idea? <laughs> um, then, once it's all rubbed in relatively well, you need to get in there with a metal knife and, and mix it, cut your milk in. As soon as it starts coming together out onto the floured bloody board or the bench or whatever, don't need it too many times, like maybe need it 10 times max and then you know cut your shapes out or whatever into a really sizzly hot oven, 210 degrees celsius for no more than 12 minutes and you will have scones that you do not need to cut, they will break open in your hands and they will not coat your teeth with regret, they will just be so delicious that you eat the whole mother loving batch all to yourself, butter dribbling down your chin, hoping no one busts you doing this insane act. American pie, kind of like that but without a penis and without a pie. You know what I'm saying people? You get the idea. Happy scone making. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have heaps of news about cheap places to live in Melbourne but if I don't I'll find something else to talk about because I'm good like that. See you tomorrow. <laughs>